Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my second Valentine's Day look. This will probably be my last Valentine's Day look, but you guys didn't think that I was just gonna give you one look and, you know, that would be it, right? I couldn't let Valentine's Day come and go without doing my typical Sarah's weird twist on the occasion look. It's certainly not like the looks that I've been seeing, but I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun to do, and it's a lot of fun to wear, too. You could pair this look with a lot of different lip colors, which I did on purpose because, obviously, this lip is a little bit out there. Um, you can do it with, like, a gray nude lip. You could do it with a red lip. You could really do pretty much anything with this eye look, but this is the lip that I chose to go with. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm using my cheater method, which is the tape on the sides of your eyes. It's not really cheating, but I feel like for me when I do it, I'm cheating. But I've been liking the way that it looks lately, so we're going to do that. I'm going to use my Paint Pot by MAC, and this is the shade Lay and Low, like I always use. And I'm just going to prime my eyes with that. Then I'm going to take Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to run that all the way through my crease, and just kind of lay down that really nice transition. take Desert Sands from the Makeup Geek uh, Vegas Lights palette. This palette is really, really pretty, and I'm just going to run that in the crease just to deepen it a little bit. Next, from the same palette, I'm going to take Casino. This is a really, really rich gold shade, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid, making sure to blend my crease out after I lay this color down, just so that everything's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to take one of my favorite pigments by MAC, this is called Tan, and I'm going to get it wet with my Fix Plus Concoction, and then I'm going to just lay that all over the lid, again making sure to blend the crease afterward. I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Liner number 77, and I'm going to just give myself a basic winged liner. One thing that this tape does is it makes it so easy to do a winged liner. It's crazy, so I'm just going to do that really quickly and take the tape off and I'm going to go in with Roulette, which is this nice rosy bronze coppery color, and I'm gonna stick that on my lower lash line, and I will have to touch it up later since I'm doing my foundation after my eyes, but this is just to kind of get an idea of what the bottom lash line is going to look like. Then I'm gonna blend that out really nicely so it's a nice smooth transition. And I'm gonna spray my face with my Fix Plus stuff. It's a really great face like prep step. And then I'm going to take this Mirabella primer that I got in my BoxyCharm. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it down below. I actually really like this primer. It is a little too mattifying for me because my skin's dry right now. But if that's what you're looking for, it's really good for that. And then going in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because it's kind of boring to watch. CA corrector is going to go underneath my eyes next and I'm just going to pat that in with my middle finger or my ring finger if I'm deciding to play by the rules which it looks like I'm not and then I'm going to use my pro Longwear concealer over the top of that I'm going to take this shade called Mirage, and this is my favorite inner corner highlight, you guys. I just discovered it when I started using this palette, and it is gorgeous. There is nothing like it that I've ever used before. It is so beautiful. It's kind of iridescent and yellow, and I just don't know how to explain it, but if you guys have this palette, try this color for your inner corner. It's amazing. Then I'm going to take this Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara and take it to my lower lashes and my upper lashes. Then I'm going to apply falsies off camera. I'm going to contour with this Girlactic bronzer in the shade Cabo. And lately I've not been using my NARS Eda brush because I've been liking more of like a blown out, like softer contour lately. And I'm gonna follow with my Makeup Geek blush. And this is the shade Hanky Panky and I'm just going to put that all over my cheeks. It's nice and soft and pink and romantic. I like it a lot for Valentine's Day. This is my Becca highlighter in Opal. 
Same story, different day, guys. I love these highlighters, and I hate these brushes right now because they're shedding like crazy. I need new brushes so, so badly. It's not even funny. And then I'm gonna conceal my lip line as usual with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. And I believe this is the shade 18 or 16. It's one of the very lightest ones. And then I'm just going to pat that in with my Beauty Blender or my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge thing. And I'm going to follow that with my lip liner. This is Black Dahlia by OCC and I've been loving this lip liner lately. It's kind of similar to Night Moth but it doesn't stain your lips as badly. Night Moth stains like a crazy, crazy mess. It just, it does not come off for like two days. So this one I've been liking a lot better. Um, even though I love Night Moth, you know that. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix these two shades um, from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and I'm going to use that for the main lip color. And I like this lip a lot because I feel like it looks like those rose petals. I feel like there's rose petals that are this kind of gradient purple pink. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? I don't know. I just like it. It reminds me of roses. Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to stick a couple of rhinestones right on the center of my lower lash line. I love how this looks. This whole look reminds me of like roses and this reminds me of like a dewdrop on the rose petal, you guys. I'm getting so deep with this. <laughs> but that is the completed look and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have an awesome Valentine's Day and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will list those down below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!